Hey, I wanted to, to show you real quick our, um, what I'm calling hot water compost 2.0. Okay, so in 2017, we did a, uh, an experiment with a compost pile in order to get obviously compost, but also to get hot water. And that worked great for us, but uh, you know, it, we only got hot water about 45 days or so. So we took all those lessons learned from 2017 and now we're applying them to 2018. So we have, um, and I'll just talk about a couple of the improvements that we've done. We have a compost pile behind me and uh, it's it's really a lot bigger. That's the number one thing that we learned. Uh, only we, we knew it, but um, we wanted to apply it and then let's see if we can get a much longer burn, if you will. Okay, so now it's kind of hard to tell from this uh, you know, I'd say like, well, kind of doesn't look like that big of a pile. It's actually pretty big. It's got to be at least a couple tons in weight, for sure. So from from you know the side, the the length this way is probably a solid, you know, eight, nine, ten feet. Okay, so across, yeah, you know, across at the bottom, it's another, you know, it's at eight to ten feet, but it's pretty pretty sizable. Okay, not super tall, certainly meets um, you know that three and a half to, to four feet tall um, so it's it is it's pretty huge all right so uh, what what are we doing thermophilic composting so hot composting we want to get hot water and in fact I'll show you this right here we've got this little pile behind me and I don't know if you can see it but it's literally steaming coming up the top um, so it's pretty cool. So yeah, we got thermophilic composting going on here Both piles and I'm going to show you that here with some temper temperature readings And you know again, we're getting compost. We're getting hot water Now what do we use the hot water for? We use the hot water seasonally for um, our outdoor shower Okay, so our outdoor shower. I'll show you that if I can it's kind of hard to see All right, so behind me right there is our, our shower, outdoor shower room. And we, uh, we take outdoor showers when, you know, in the nice weather and it's warm and, um, uh, you know, during the summer. So that's, that's pretty cool, we enjoy that. You know, we don't need to use electricity to heat water or propane or whatever. We get it from compost. Not required to have the sun shining. We do some solar hot water as well. Uh, but this is kind of just another method of experimentation. So, what is our goal for this one is uh, hopefully we can get at least double the burn time, you know, 90 days, maybe longer. Gene Pond, the guy who basically pioneered this type of thing on a much larger scale, uh, was able to get burns for 18 months, okay, but those were massive, you know, 20-ton piles. He was getting methane off of them, producing power, doing hydronic heat, hot water, etc., etc. Okay, so our goal here, hot water. You see, um, you know, the out outlet right there outflow valve and I, can, and I can show you that too so again compost hot water 2.0 uh, upgraded from all the lessons learned from 2017 and let me show you some temperatures okay so we have a you know pretty cold and cold and rainy north idaho morning here on the homestead and um, let's see if you can see that i gotta show you that you should be able to see that heat coming off serious there you go, that, that's a good shot. Okay, anyway, back to compost hot water 2.0. Um, so here's here's a, our compost thermometer. And you can see there, you know, 50 degree, 51, 52-ish is the ambient air temperature. So let's take, a, let's take a reading. We'll take two readings. Okay, so first let's go to the, kind of the side here. And um, we'll just kind of go shoot towards that middle. All right, so there we go. Look at that. Look at that rise. Let me see if I can clear that off. So get a clearer shot. There we go. There's 130. Continue to climb. 135. There's 140. Okay, and you know, still climbing a little bit. Probably hit 148 or so eventually. There's 145 plus. All right, so let's take one more. We'll go, this time we'll just kind of go from the front and 
you know, you, of course, be careful of the coils that are in there. We've got coils that are in there. Let's see here. What's it going to do? Is it going to go up or down? That's slowly climbing. Not as hot up here up front, but that's, uh, you know, 135, 137-ish. Okay, maybe it'll climb, you know, and hit 140. All right, so there you go. The internal temperature somewhere between, you know, one, 135 and 150. Okay, we could take a multiple. And again, this is the front. And it's kind of hard to tell, but again, this thing, this goes all the way back there. So it's a really big pile. Um, and so we're excited to see this. We're going we're gonna to check it out and see how many days we get out of this. Uh, May 31st. 2018 is day one okay and that was basically uh yesterday actually day before sorry may 30th is our basically our first burn day if you will okay so we're getting cotton we're stacking functions getting uh, hot water we're getting uh good compost in the end materials here basically manure straw that was this is the place where we overwintered our sheep our breeding stock and uh we just pile it all up you know, so not only did this straw, um, you know, give them bedding over the winter, now it's going to give us hot water and it'll eventually give us uh, compost for our, our gardens and increase that soil food web and hopefully make for abundant growing. Okay, so again, good example of stacking functions right here.